Welcome back, survivors. I'm Survival Viss, and we return to Tribe Primitive Builder. Last episode, we got our basics kind of done with introducing the game, a little bit of what's in store for it. We've gotten to meet the first tribe of people who have been very hospitable to us and welcoming us in. And now we've gotten our own little workshop made up and got ourselves a spear that we're going to use to try going after a few fish. So hunting with a spear. When you spot a fish, seagull, or turkey, aim your spear and throw it to get a valuable resource. So right click is to hold a... S okay, while you hold... While Press right click while holding a spear to aim. Press left click while aiming to throw and use alt to find the spear, which is our hawk's, or hawk's eye. So I wonder if we can actually use this for the rabbits we've seen too. Because yeah, there's a little... So we have a thrust. And we do have some rabbits going around. Oh. Okay, it seems like we have a pretty good range for picking up the spears again. I think these guys, though, I'll probably need a bow and arrow to try getting them a bit better. Unless I want to try running up to one and stabbing them. Oh. There you are. Probably should have just tried stabbing that one, to be honest. Oh, there we go. Not really any sound effect when you take the rabbits down, though, so... That might be something possibly will get changed. But I want to do that, just so that way we can... Alright, we need to find a fire to cook the meat. So, actually, do I have... Hunter's Hut? Okay, so there's a few huts. I was just looking to see if there is, like, an actual, uh... Da -ba -da -ba -da. To make a fire, but I guess not. Ooh. Yeah, you know what, I'll snag that. Right, where was our way into their village? Just so that way I can get us some more water. Maybe here? No, I don't think so. Over this way? Oh, here we go. I just want to use their... Yeah, this here to get us a, some fresh water and then we'll go out. There we go. And yeah, I don't see a... Well, I mean, it is daylight, so it would be kind of hard to see any glows of any fire here. And we're just using our spears of shovel now to get those. Okay, let's properly go and look again in our... the... some fish, so that way we'll probably learn how to make a fire after that. So for that, it's along the road, and then to the right there. But yeah, I reviewed the footage from uh, the first episode, and the game does run very smooth, even for, like, the capture. There we go. We'll take that. Level 2 Hunter. Or Mastery Level 2. Oh, look at how pretty this area is. Now again, I'm not sure it's just going to be conventional wildlife we'll come across in the game, or we'll have a few more uh, fantasy elements to it, but... I'll just go along and see how it'll unfold. Okay, so I guess anywhere along here... There we go! Oh, no, I could've come here for a drink, I'm stupid. But there we go, we got ourselves a fish... And we just gotta find the elder. Or sh maybe I'll try going for another fish or two. I'm kinda curious, can I... Yeah, I can just use the spear like this. I don't have to throw it. There we are. Okay, that should be more than enough food for ourselves. Maybe we'll donate a little bit back to the village if we can because of how nice the elder's been. I also do like the tribal soundtrack that is playing for everything. It feels very fitting for the atmosphere set up here. Oh, well, there's a fire right there. Elder, I bring foods. I did catch some fish. The great gift of fire. 
Oh. Volcano. The sound of an explosion. Fire Mountain has grown angry with us. We must make a sacrifice to appease them anew. What kind of sacrifice are you talking about? Find our altar, burn some incense as an offering, show respect, and hope it makes them happy. Yeah, hopefully it does, because if not, I think we're all just going to be charred little husks. I was going to say, don't tell me that uh, I'm going to be the sacrifice. Rituals. Perform rituals at the altar to unlock access to blueprints for new buildings and items. Remember to check the cost of the ritual before going to the altar. Simple enough. Let's first, though, use the fires here and cook ourselves a few things. Yes, there's some more food rations to help us out. There's also... Okay. The spiced food rations here... I guess we unlock, and there's a little symbol. I wonder if those will be something that will be like an offering in the future. So we got some leather from the rabbits we took down. We got plenty of food, so all of our meters are really good. Okay, so what we need to do is find some herbs and some yellow grass. Well, the herbs I picked up quite a few just outside of the main village there. That's some big leaves. The yellow grass, I don't know if I've come across yet. Says I have collected from somewhere. Oh, maybe over here. That, yeah, I'm guessing that's what this is. Yeah, yellow grass. Okay, there we go. So that should be just fine there. Now, I wonder, because I have things in the chest here, can I use them with this workshop, or they have to be in... No, I think they've got to be in our inventory. Okay. So, bring the herbs over. Yeah, there we go. And we'll craft one of those. And let's just quickly transfer all that over for now. But we'll keep the incense, because we need that. So we need to find the entrance to the cave, and that is over this way. Now well, we even got a nice road to follow along. Oh. Hi there, you're one of us, right? Hello, <laughs> Hello fresh meat. Speak to our elder. We'll speak later. Okay, will do. Oh, sounds like there's some interesting birds or that in the trees. Okay, let's see. Yeah, we'll follow along the road further. And see where this takes us. Oh, you know what? They are right in the way. I'm just going to snag those. And that, and... Ah, I just can't fight the hoarding instinct. You know, I'm in a survival craft game. I'm going to use the resources eventually. Might as well grab them now while I see them. Okay, but we'll hold off for now and go to the cave here. Or somewhere near here. Ooh. Okay, I guess maybe there's a little bit of a frame rate hiccup when it comes to loading the new area, but... Nothing too bad aside from that. And they've got it very well decorated to know you're going towards the special cave. No, oh, there's Gather Mastery up. I'm not actually sure how many levels there are. Yeah, it seems like they just keep going up and up, so we'll have to see in time how high you can get that. I don't know if it'll cap out, like, level 10 or... what. Okay, so go to the altar and perform a ritual initial prayer. Place the incense on the altar and wait for complete after we picked our... ritual. Okay, so we gotta go... It 
is a fair ways in here. Oh, there it is. God, they've they chose some really good spots to set up, to be honest. Okay, let's see. So we could go... Okay, so we can only start with axe right now. Oh, I guess that was it. Unlocks talisman, bamboo, totem. And... There we... Oh, jeez. Ooh. Are we going to have to, like, build a ship to leave the island? Although, the ship is flying in the air, so I don't... That's an interesting vision for sure. Hopefully the elders doesn't think we've gone crazy. But I wonder if we almost... I mean, it seemed kind of straightforward to me from what, like, that vision was. We're on the island, the volcano's going to blow, so we'll have to make a ship to escape it. Maybe I'm mistaken about it, but... We'll talk to the Elder and see what his take is with it. But first, snag a few more herbs. Okay. Oh, I like the whistle they added in. Or the flute, or... Snag that, and keep working our way. And that, and that. There we go. Yeah, I'm probably good on resources, so we'll just worry about talking to the Elder and trying to explain the, uh, sky boat. <laughs> I assure you, we're probably not crazy, but I also don't know what was actually in that incense, so maybe we were a bit high. <laughs> ah, Axile! Let's see. I did what you asked. Did what you asked, I saw something. Strange. A vision? Fire Mountain was angry, fire everywhere, also strange sign, and a big boat. I feel crazy. He must save our fellow exiles, and he must save our tribe. Okay. Musakana, <laughs> Okay, so that's where, like, our... The explanation for, like, expanding out the tribe and building some things better. I'll do that. No time to waste now. Yeah. I have to admit, he's taken to the random exile who washed ashore on his island and is starting to see visions of sky boats pretty well. Okay, tribe production. Cost of mass rituals, special huts is high. Make your tribesmen work for you to collect enough resources and let you focus on management. Okay, so the river is... I think he's just talking about this one here, so we'll head up that way and see about trying to build that Fisher's Hut. Oh, and we got the rabbits back, so you know what? Maybe... Yeah, there's another level of Hunter Mastery up. There we go. 
have, might as well start stockpiling those. I don't know. Actually, I should take a look right now what we need for that. Uh, wood, bamboo, and vines. Okay, that's actually not too bad at all. Because, yeah, the bamboo is all just right here. Nope, come back here. I need you. There we go. Snag all this. Nope, oh, there's gather up. And this. Oh, there we go. Nope, come back here. I think I need to... Oh, it actually, like, breaks off in little chunks like that. Uh-oh. Okay, that's what qualifies as wood, is the giant logs. Okay, so how much did I need for that hut? Uh, not that one. Oh, I just need some vines now. And those... Yeah, there they are. Pretty easy to snag. Okay. I'm glad there's nothing in the water we have to be worrying about. And actually, how am I in... Okay, I got a lot of inventory space. You know what? Oh, I see. There's a resource proximity, so that's actually gotten... Uh, let's see. If we will... Okay, there's 100%, so let's try to do that. Get this in a spot where... There. Yeah, let's get this all prepped in in place. Okay, so maybe there's, like, to build it, you have a certain amount you need, and then there's more you have to keep, like, adding on and expanding it till it's finished. So let me keep gathering more of the bamboo up, and then we'll take it back down and try to finish up that hut. And we also need to build a bamboo totem. Okay, so, yeah, you have different phases to the building for getting these completed. So we're, oh, we're only on level phase two of six. Well, it's going to take a little bit of time, but thankfully all the resources are pretty plentiful here. I just need to gather a lot of bamboo. No, oh, come back here. There we go. And take that down. Oh, there's woodcutter. Woodcutter mastery went up. Oh, is there? Almost looks like there's an aurora in the sky here. I know the game's supposed to have, like, again, like, the tribal mysticism to it. So there's probably a lot more we'll eventually be encountering for, like, the mystical side of things. Yeah, let's keep working at this. Okay, there's that done. Nope. Oh, yeah, we need a lot of resources for this. Okay, so I need to find a lot more yellow grass and pick as much of it as I can. And I think there was, yeah, there's a lot over there. So I do also have to keep in mind how my rest is doing too, because we're going to be going and using up a lot of our resource, er, a lot of energy doing this. So take that, take that, take that, and that, and that. Yeah, as much as there's, like, the initial cost it shows you in the build menu, there's a lot more to, uh... ...keep in mind for it, too. Okay, there. We'll see if over 30 pieces of yellow grass is enough for that. I'll probably need some more... 
uh, vine too, but there was also a lot under that hanging rock near the hut. Let's just sprint down and see if we can finish this off before tonight. Stick that in there, there, there. You all get a little bit. There we go. Okay, now I need more big leaves for some of these, but others I'm able to get down without. So, big leaves, big leaves. Ah, you, right? Yeah. Just the big ferns that are sitting around. And that. I'm quickly deforesting the area around us, though I'm hope. Well, granted, if we are going to be building a boat to leave anyway, and the volcano will scorch it to nothing but ash, I guess it doesn't matter how deforestation, or how much you deforest a plot, a space. Not sure if that's the right mindset to have, given that's probably how our own environment's gone to such a bad shape. Oh. Okay, now I need more wood. And thankfully, we got this tree right here I can... take down. There we go. Uh, was it really just the two pieces of wood? Okay, well, I can put that one there, that there, that there. Okay, I think that's it for inside, so now I just need a bone totem. And I think that I have to do with my workbench. Which is actually a good thing, because from our meters, we could use a good sleep. So we'll quickly head back, uh, make up that totem, get some sleep, and first thing in the morning, that'll be that finished. Let's see. Bamboo totem. Craft that. Uh, and a talisman. I won't make it yet, although we probably will in a little bit, but let's see. Okay. Oh, I see. So that actually shows how your meters are changing for your sleep. We'll go for the eight hours. And have some more food. Okay. I'm... Right, I need to remember... Oh, here is probably the way back to the village. Just so that way I can stock us up on water again. There we go. Got a few more rocks, just in case. And we're all set. Okay, we should be able to have the fishing hut finish this episode, no problem. And see what the next stage is. So yeah, this is grassland right now, volcanic land, another altar there. It actually doesn't look like there's that many resources to keep track of for... Ah, uh, the game, like... Well, okay, it only lists the special resources, though, so I might be mistaken on that a fair bit. No, oh, I guess one of the, the tribe mates or whatever is out here taking a little look to see what we're up to. Bam! There we go. That's the fishing hut completed. So we should be good to talk to the elder... And we'll just see what he has to say and then end today's episode there. Well, and he's up by the fire, which is actually perfect because I did want to cook the last bit of meat that we had from uh, that rabbit we took down. Or actually the four pieces of meat from the multiple rabbits we took down. Oh, and our craftsman went up too. Okay. Elder, good news. I think we're standing in the fire, but uh, the fishing hut is done. Bring tools, place torch and totem by hut door. More torches mean more workers. Signal seems simple enough, eh? Okay. Yeah, it really looks like I'm standing in the fire when we're talking to him. Have some food rations. Look, Elder, could we turn down the food rations? I've literally slaughtered every, the local wildlife population enough to stock myself up with more than enough. 
Got it. Foon tools to Fisher's hut. To the Fisher's hut. Okay, good. I wasn't actually standing right in the fire, because... I mean, we do have a health bar, so eventually there has to be conflict of some kind. So I don't know what that'll be yet, but... Maybe we'll get a taste of that with having this completed. For now, though, we'll end this episode right here. And thankfully, it does let me just do that for a nice quick save slot. Perfect. So, thank you all very much for joining me on this episode of Tribe Primitive Builder. If you liked the video, be sure to give it a like. And if you have any comments, tips, or tricks, be sure to in the comments right down below. And until I see you all in the next video or episode, Survivors, please remember, as always, to take care and stay alive. Mm -hmm.